the long-awaited firmware update for the EOS R5C, it is here, my friend. It is massive. And it is a game changer for the EOS R5C owners. We have 19 improvements with that new firmware update as never seen before. In this video, I'm not gonna go through every single improvement, but I'm gonna pick the most important one I'm gonna share with you. And also in the description below, I'm gonna leave the link so you can go there and read the full spec of those improvements that the Canon EOS R5C got with that new firmware update 1.0.4.1. It is massive. So let's get into the video right now. First, before I update the EOS R5C to the latest firmware update 1.0.4.1, I need to check two things with the current firmware update 1.0.3.1. One is the booting time. Moving from photo to video or from video to photo, how long it would take, because that's one of the improvements. And the second, is the battery life so i'm gonna again with a new lp fully charged battery how long the battery will last when we're shooting 4k or 8k and then i'm gonna try it again with the new firmware update and we'll see how long with a newly charged battery how long the battery gonna last when shooting 4k or 8k so this exercise, I need to do it with the current firmware so that we can also compare it later when we update to the latest firmware. Okay, so let's start with this one first. First, I'm going to try the battery. So here I have a fully charged LP battery. So I'm going to put it here. So this fully charged battery Recording 8K full frame, we have 58 minutes. Right. But when you press the recording, the time definitely going to change. But then you press record, you see. Press recording, the time is still the same. 58 minutes for that, for that battery. Oh, it's gone from 58 to 51. All right. Oh, it went to 51. To 47 and it's going to 45 and how it's draining the battery so i'm gonna stop it here and i'm gonna change it to 4k so now i choose 4k and with the new fully charged battery we have 54 minutes and again i'm gonna press to record and we can see i'm gonna press recording and it's recording it's recording still 54, 54 minutes, I still going, 54 minutes, very close up, but okay, it's going to 53 minutes now, All right, so it's about 50 something minutes, yeah, with a fully charged, so, and next important thing, so now I'm going to try the second thing, is booting time from video to photo, how long it's going to take, okay. So get ready, so I'm going to put it from video to photo. You know, about eight or nine seconds here, the booting time. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna try to boot it from photo to video. Okay, it's also about eight seconds. So with that current firmware, which is, let me show you, what firmware we have here now. So firmware 1.0.3.1. .1. So that's the current firmware. So now I'm gonna to update to the latest firmware 1.0.4.1. .1. And then we see, because that's one of the 
or two of the 19 improvements that the new firmware update bring. Okay, that's good. So here we are, firmware update 1.0.4.1. That's okay. So now we have the new firmware update into the EOS R5C. So I'm going to start from number six. And number six is improved switching time between video and photo. We already know when we in the latest in the last firmware update 1.0.3.1 it took us about eight seconds to switch from photo to video or from video to photo so now they said there's an improvement and we're gonna try that okay so now i'm in a video i'm gonna try to switch it from video to photo and i'm gonna have my timer again here and try to do it at the same time and let's see how long it's gonna take now i'm in photo i'm gonna to try to switch to video oh wow it's about three seconds you know let me try one more it's about three seconds so i'm gonna try one more just to make sure or oh, three seconds again yeah okay so that is a massive massive improvement to be frankly speaking i'm really pleased so that's the improvement number six so the next thing is power saving mode is that canon say that with that new firmware update there's a the battery thing gonna be improved so we're gonna check early on you have seen I have inserted a new recharge battery, LP battery, is a full. I'm gonna use again a new fully charged LP battery, and then we see how many minutes it's gonna give us. But certainly there is a saving mode into that. I'm gonna try to go find the saving mode that Canon provide. So power saving mode. Now it's off, let's put it on. Okay, here we are in the power saving mode here. And here there's text that we need to read. Power saving mode. Reduce camera power consumptions. The following cannot be used in power saving mode. Raw or 8K or higher resolutions. Slow and fast motion at XAVC intra 4K or higher resolutions, LCD or viewfinder luminance, function that communicate with external devices, and accessory powered from the camera. Okay, so there's quite a lot of things that you can use. So let's turn it on. Let's see. So now I'm gonna insert as a new recharge battery. And then let's see. So with a fully charged battery, LP battery. When you're recording 4K, all intra the 510 megabit per second, frame rate 25p. Let's turn the power saving on. Now it's on. And I look at the time. Wow. 82 minutes. Just let it lay a bit. Okay, you see, from 82, went to 80. I say no, but let the lay bit adjust. Okay, adjusting to 79. And wait a bit to see if we will readjust again. So still 79. Okay, 79. All right. Now let's try to press the record and let's see if oh it's adjust to 78. All right, starting 78. We're recording now, and let's just record for a few seconds. Okay, move from 78, 76, 75. 72 only recording let's go quick down it's draining the battery so quick okay 72 okay let's stop now recording and let's see it's still 72 all right ah, let's turn it off let's turn the power saving off and we see the difference from 72 uh, okay from 72 no power cell, we got 60. Oh, sorry, to 168, not 61 to 
58 58 it's gonna maintain that that let it adjust a little bit so stuck to 58 all right so stay to 58 okay so no power saving 58 so let's turn it on again power saving on and hopefully we're gonna get 72 okay 78 so 78 let's adjust okay adjusting 76 76 75 Readjusting. Okay, readjusting. So so far seventy five. All right. So you got about seventy five minutes or around that. Okay. So I think the conclusion is that the really battery life has improved when you're recording four K. Yeah. But when you're recording 8K RAW or 120 frames per second, all those kind of things, does no, you don't have the power saving button thing. So we've done six and we've done seven. So number nine is added digital teleconverter. I think that probably will be wonderful. So let's look at it quickly here. So here we are in the menu, I think in the, in the camera setup, and let move it yeah yeah here here you can see the teleconverter so now it's off let me turn it on and you can see the thing that i'm i have the you know this text here you know, this text here so let's try to play with it so i'm gonna do that press 1.5 so you can see how that come close here let again change the magnification let's go to two even closer let's change again you can see here let's change two three absolutely you can see you can bring it you know closer and and i'm not sure if you're losing if you're losing image quality or not but if you want me to let me know in the comment box below i can make a video that looking into that but so basically you have a digital converter if you have a really, really wide you know lens that you want to bring the subject really close you can use that too so i think that's a good thing so i'm gonna get out of that and change it to off so that's a digital teleconverter for you. So number 10, to enable you to change the waveform size. So make it big or make it small. Can you see that? Press it go big, press it go small. In fact, press it go big, press it go small. I think it's really, that's a, that's a massive, you know, massive improvement. All right, number 13, so autofocus, that's one of the massive improvements that we've been waiting for. I think so far I'm still really pleased with the autofocus of the Canon EOS R5C, but Canon apparently improved. So let's go into the autofocus. So continue autofocus. Now it's disabled. Let's enable it. Now you have, all right, disable or only around the focus point or enable, just enable. So I'm just going to enable it. So before you have only enable. So now you have those three options. So enable and AF frame. You know, large, so, I mean, in the past, you have large, small, and then whole area. But usually, it works best for me when I am in a whole area. So I'm going to choose whole area. All right. F speed, F response. So I'm just going to do it for zero for now. And then, okay, face detect and tracking is on. And then face AF. So we have face priority or face only. I mean, depend on what setting, or what are you shooting. But if you're shooting like, a person and uh, standing interview face only work best for me but otherwise face priority if you choose so many different subjects face priority will be also working so then we have eight eye detections eye detection or i keep it on when i know that i'm going to be shooting people because then it will lock on the eye 
So I choose that. So now the thing that you have as an addition in terms of improvement is the take, the take from, I mean, head detection mode. That's thing that we did not have before. So first detect mode, so we go detect from face. So now we have option, detect from face or detect from head. I think detect from head, what it does, uh, I'm gonna change it and then after that we're gonna be, you know, testing again. So detect from face on head, or head. So here's the menu, yeah. We have face priority, we have detect from face or head. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to change, you know, my position and let's see. So now I'm looking directly into the camera. So now I'm looking directly into the camera. You can see, you know, the thing is in my eye. So everything's fine. Is that if I turn my head around, I cannot see it. And I hope that is on my head. And that's, I'm looking at the face. And if I turn my head around, I hope that this capturing, you know, still on my face. If I move away, if I move away, if I turn around, I can see the still in my face. If I move this way, I can see this changing from my face to my head. And I do this way, and you can see it too. I think that's easy thing to do. Close. I think when, when I'm going to look at the thing later, just what I'm going to understand. But now, when I move this way, there's still my eyes there. So I do it this way, my eyes is not there. And I turn my head. Yeah. And Let's say that let's remove the eye. So let me disable eye, eye detection. We'll try to disable eye detection and let's see. So eye detection is gone. There's only, the score is only in my head. You can see that. If I turn this way, so on my head, if I'm looking this way, I hope it's in my head because I can see. If I turn my head back, I hope it's still locked on my head. If I move back, I hope it's still locked in my head. If I move this way, I still, I hope it's still locked in my head. If I Move there, I still lock into my head. And then close, it's to lock into my head. Okay, so I'm gonna return the eye on. So I'm gonna do a thorough, I'm gonna do a thorough AF uh, test. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe now. I think that's all the most important for my update into that. And if you want me to look particularly in certain area of that improvement, do let me know in the comment box below. Otherwise, I think it's really exciting with that new firmware update, 1.0.4.1, with all those kind of additional. So, yes, Hakuna Matata, I hope you find this video very useful and uh, more update just come out now and if you want you can go you know update it i leave the link in the comment in the description below you can follow it you can update your firmware for the canon geos r5c for your canon geos r5c and just exciting thank you very much and do not forget to like this video and also you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. I could have my to my friend. God bless you. As always, for me, it's only love to you. Stay safe, stay protected. Bye for now.